and, and he looked behind him and there was a guy coming out with a knife and Mike carried his sticks in the console. He just came out with a stick and he did a one, a two, and a twelve, which is neck, neck, top of the head. He called 911 when the cops got there, the guy was still unconscious. So, so he told me, he said, this stuff really works. He was calling me. I said, yeah, it works. Most of my life, I'm retired now, but I was law enforcement. And I, the martial arts has probably kept me from getting hurt dozens of times. I probably killed numerous times if it wasn't for what I you know, trained in. So it works. Now what about the older people or people with uh, physical disabilities? Can you adjust your training yeah, to adjust, teach yeah. them? Because I've got a fake hip and a fake knee, and for 10 years I didn't do any kicks on this leg. So I did all my kicks, you know. And I had one young man in here, he had uh, cerebral palsy, and he was crippled through the legs, but his upper body was really strong. And so when he trained with us, instead of doing kicks, I had to do an extra punches and elbows and palm heel strikes and knife hands. And he adapted really well. So utilizing those strengths. Yeah, right, exactly. What about Juan? He had carpal tunnel syndrome. He, he progressed really good. Yeah but, yeah, but he had one of my black belts. He had carpal tunnel syndrome. He had both wrists operated on, and now he's, he's teaching in Texas. Wow. So, yeah, people come in here and they say, I've got a bad knee and a bad. I said, well, then we'll just work on the side of the body this good. And we'll work, you know, with. A lot of the techniques when you're striking to the neck, striking to the eye, striking to the mandibular nerve, you know, or the larynx, it doesn't take a lot of power. You just got to hit what you're aiming at. And that's what we're doing here. We work with each other. It's target acquisition. Now, today is obviously all weapons, you know. If we have time, maybe do some chokes in a little bit. That would be great. Yeah. And how old are you now? I'm 63. And you've been doing this since 1973? No, I've been, I've been doing this since, since I was six. Oh, wow. I started teaching in 1973. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay, well, thank you, and we'll keep filming.